the United States is still a superpower. Saudi Iranian relations continue to deteriorate due to a tweet from the US president. When it comes to Syria's future, no one can ignore the will of the United States. Although Russia is involved in Syria, in many cases they have implemented the will of the United States. China, Korea, Japan and Russia are still being forced to accept US military positions in Korea and Japan. The United States has been holding Russia hostage in a border war with the Ukrainian government. The Americans are holding Russia along with Europe by leading NATO. The United States is balancing China's naval influence in the Indian Ocean, using very little military power through support services to India, Japan, Australia. It is still the US military presence in Africa, the Middle East, Asia, Europe and the Americas. All states have been forced to be part of the American so-called war on terror. While China is emerging as a superpower, its economy is still reeling from trade with the United States. The US still maintains the oil market by controlling Saudi Arabia. Due to the uncontrolled fall in oil prices, the Russian economy, which is dependent on oil sales, is not able to pose a significant challenge to the American. In South American countries, American prestige in Latin politics has been maintained due to the emergence of policymakers similar to American thought in power. Since World War II, the United States has taken on the responsibility of shaping the world's fortunes. Until the 1980s, the Soviet Union challenged the United States, but in 26 years, there was no one to challenge the superpower. But what the United States has lost, and is still losing, in the midst of a major military mission, despite no challenges. The ability to engage, the ability to make any country in the world work for itself through diplomacy, the credibility of the ability to control the world, the ideological position to stand up for human rights at the core of Western thinking, the ability to control the world economically as well as the internal stability of the United States. Donald Trump's victory in the 2016 U.S. presidential election is a result of economic stagnation and unequal cutting of resources. The White House's conflict with Democrats has reached such a level that indecisiveness on important national issues is rampant in Washington. American thinkers are deeply concerned about the deteriorating discipline of members of the military, the deterioration of internal law and order, social degradation, ethnic and religious hatred, and the deteriorating public health situation. The global war on terror has crippled the U.S. economy and prepared the military in such a way that it is now difficult for the United States to engage in war with any major military power. In addition to U.S. military personnel, the use of mercenaries as private contractors in the war on terror is on the rise. The United States has to support a huge military budget to carry out these military missions. Even more difficult is the fact that this huge military budget is not enough for the U.S. military leadership worldwide. Apart from the superpower United States, the position of other countries can also be understood from this commentary. As the weakness of the superpower becomes more visible, the regional powers are trying to consolidate their position. Although China and Russia have challenged the United States, the reality is that the two countries are facing the reality of playing the role of superpowers. But that is not to say that the competition for power will not diminish Europe has so far sided with the United States on the Russia issue, but the distance is widening. In addition, Europe is going to be weakened by the rise of nationalism. In the Middle East, Saudi Arabia and Turkey are busy packing their own sugarcane diplomats will be busy in the coming days observing the competition for their influence worldwide. In addition to East Asia, 
China's emerging geopolitical rivalry has increased in South Asia and the Indian Ocean region. And in Myanmar's ethnic repression, Japan and the United States want to control the Bay of Bengal, China. In the Indian Ocean region, due to its strategic location, Australia and Indonesia are slowly playing an important role here.